The first test that a poultry farmer is put to is his or her skills in selecting good healthy chicks and successful poultry farming starts with acquiring of healthy chicks. That is why in today's video we are going to discuss about how to select healthy chicks. We shall also discuss what you are supposed to look for in a chick so that you can know its state of health. This is very important because starting the farm with the right food by purchasing healthy chicks is the first success in profitable poultry farming. Therefore, before we continue, it takes a lot of time, energy and also money to make this uh, educative videos for you guys therefore make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed and make sure that you hit that bell notification so that you can be notified whenever we post a new video also hit that like button because that will help the algorithm of the youtube to push these videos to many more farmers so that they can be able to access this important information the information that i'm going to share with you can also be used can also be helpful in identification of the sicky chicks or even hens in the farm and also this information can help you when buying even older hens uh, from other farmers or breeders therefore make sure that you watch the whole video to get the full information uh, the first thing to look out for when buying chicks uh, is number one activity and alertness of the chicks uh, a healthy chick is usually active and busy when not sleeping a uh, healthy chicks are always eating drinking walking around ex and exploring the environment another way to test for chick activity and alertness is to try and catch it a healthy active and alert chick or chicks will be scurrying away avoiding them uh, avoiding themselves from being caught the other thing that you should know uh, under activity and alertness of chicks is also that healthy chicks do not crumble together except when they the temperatures maybe the temperatures of the brooder are quite low uh, otherwise the healthy chicks do not you know squeeze and huddle together and well injured cold and hungry chicks usually huddle together even when awake uh, the second thing that you are going to look out for when selecting a uh, healthy chicks that you are going out to take to the farm number two is examining the head or and the eyes properly a healthy chick's eyes are open rounded alert and bright and well chicks will have half open or closed eyes which, and the chick will appear dull sicky and also it will appear sleepy most of the time and may not react when approached or they, they may have a poor response when you try to catch them and they will also have watery eyes they also check closely the nostrils make sure that there's no discharge either wet discharge or discharge that has dried on the nostrils avoid chicks with this, with the scissors beak uh, the scissors beak is usually a deformity that may be genetic therefore chicks with this abnormal or uh, chicks with this abnormality should not be brought should not be bought because they cannot even be able to eat or drink uh, this means that they demand special attention which may not be available especially in larger poultry farms also check for a condition uh, called stargazing or the crooked neck uh, alternatively known as uh, the the rye right neck uh, it's a condition where chicks cannot be able to support the neck and the head into the required posture or position therefore the neck is coiled and the head appears twisted from its normal position uh, this condition can be corrected but when buying chicks uh, you may want to save on the time energy and money by choosing or selecting the best healthy chicks the third thing that you are going to look out for uh, to know that these chicks that you're about to buy are healthy is the legs and the feet a healthy chicks feet and legs will be straight and they will stand tall chicks with curled or crooked toes or malpositioned legs signal other underlying conditions and these abnormalities are an indication of poor hatching environment 
or even nutritional deficiency of the mother of them of the mother hen and this can lead to more severe complications that n may not be collected. Uh, therefore, avoid buying these chicks or birds uh, with these conditions because you may find that this condition may be irreversible and this will cause losses in your farm. The fourth thing now that you're going to make sure that you look out for is the vaccination. It is very important to know whether the, whether the chicks have been vaccinated and if so, which vaccine or vaccines have been have they received. Uh, for example, if this is so important because, uh, for example, uh, if chicks were vaccinated at the hatchery for coccidiosis, then without your knowledge, you go on uh, and feed them with chicks that are feed that have coccidiostat. What happens is that the effect of the vaccine administered at the hatchery is diminished and therefore this uh, may lead to other complications, other unintended uh, complications. It is also advisable to buy chicks that have been vaccinated for Malex before leaving the hatchery. Uh, for this matter, make sure that buying uh, that you buy chicks from a uh, reputable hatchery. The other thing to look out for when buying when uh, when buying chicks uh, is the posture. A healthy chick will stand tall and walk with ease. An ill chick or a physically challenged one will have difficulties standing or walking even when approached. A sick chick may also sit back on its hocks and neck twisted sideways or backwards into its body and this is an indication of complications that the chick is experiencing. A chicks with their heads retracted backwards and the beak pointing upwards is usually a good sign of a disease affecting the nervous system. Uh, this posture prevents the chick from eating and drinking normally. Therefore, avoid chicks with this condition. Uh, the other thing to look out for is the navel. Uh, the navel, uh, the chick's navel is found below the vent. However, you are not supposed to see it because it is supposed to close up completely. Uh, the navel area should also be clean and any signs of remains or lack of complete closure of the navel shows that there was complications during reabsorption of the yolk sac and this can cause a serious life-threatening infection called omphalitis, uh, alternatively known as the mash chick disease uh, make sure that before the buying the chicks you check uh, below the vent that you make sure the navel have closed up completely and there are no remains like fecal materials or any attachments if you find uh, any remains or you see like the the, the, the nerve have not completely uh, closed, uh, be aware that this can cause infection and it can even lead to loss of the cheek. The other thing that you are going to look at, uh, that you are going to check is the vent. A healthy cheek's vent is usually clean. Avoid cheeks with pasty butt. A uh, pasty bud is a condition where the poop builds up to form a blockage of the vent which can be fatal and the condition can be correctable yes but again it comes with a need for special attention that is cleaning and monitoring uh, these ticks which may lead to uh, infections or even it can lead to introducing cannibalism in your ticks because during cleaning the vent the vent becomes pinkish in color and if you do not isolate this tick uh, other chicks may be attracted to peck on the vent of this uh, affected chick. Therefore, to avoid all these complications, make sure that you buy a healthy chick with a clean vent. Make sure that you hit the video on your screen right now so that you can be able to know what to do to increase the laying in your layer buds.